Hi everyone. Um, firstly, I want to thank Malcolm, our sponsor, for um, inviting us here today. Um, I want all of you to close your eyes for a second. And I want you to think about the most successful entrepreneur that comes to mind. Just think about the first entrepreneur that comes to mind. And now I want you to put your hand up if that person looks like me. <laughs> no. So we are Foundervine. Um, my name is Izzy and this is David. And we are a non-profit that is changing the lives of young people and changing uh, the perception of who an entrepreneur is in our society. So we are supporting uh, women and people from uh, ethnic minority backgrounds who struggle when it comes to starting a business. And over the last 18 months, we have had 376 young people between the ages of 18 to 30 come through our programs to find co-founders, to source mentors, to learn what it takes to pitch and learn what it takes to start a business for the first time. And it's a real problem that we're solving. If you are a woman, if you're from an underrepresented group, it is very, very hard to start a business in the UK. And traditional incubation models tend to focus on education and finance as the main barriers to starting a business. But uh, many of us will know that some of those barriers are a lot deeper. They're about confidence, self-esteem. They're about access to networks, which is so important when you're starting a business. So that's a big part of what we do. When it comes to venture capital funding in the UK, for every one pound that's invested in our economy, one P goes to all female founding teams, 10 P goes to mixed gender founding teams, and a whopping 89 pence goes to all male founding teams. <laughs> we, don't, we don't see diversity in business as simply a sort of talent pipeline issue and a nice to have. We see it as a question about who controls the future of our economy and our society. <laughs> So how do we achieve this? So this is really twofold. Firstly, we attract some of the most promising and diverse talent from across the country. And then we upskill them with the right skills and resources that are required to succeed in today's digital economy. And this is really done through our immersive entrepreneurship lab called Startup 54. And the model is quite simple. We get 60 participants. They pay a fee of between 10 to 25 pounds to show commitment. They dedicate a weekend, 54 hours, and they work with their, and they build teams, 8 to 12, and they work across the weekend to build a startup that will have a positive social impact on the economy. And they all have one common goal, which is to drive and have a positive impact. Post the Startup 54 weekend, we run a six months program where we support these companies further to really build ideas. And this is done through connecting them to our global network of advisors, mentors, providing them opportunities of funding and finance, and most importantly, they join our Vine, Net uh, Vine community, which is all the alumni from our program join this community, and there's this big network effect of you supporting those who are coming through and supporting each other. But enough about me explaining how um, it works. We thought it'd be great to bring one of our first uh, graduates to our program to give a little bit about how Vine has um, supported her. Hannah. Hi everyone, I'm Hannah. Um, so I started my company VRCom uh, from Startup 54, um, and it was a so it's a virtual reality experience to help people with dementia. And I did it as part of my university dissertation. Um, I graduated this year, and I realised I really wanted to take it to life and actually make it into a business because it could really help a lot of people. But I had no capital, I had no network, and I really had no clue how to start. <coughs> Um, so I went along to Startup 54 and there I met my co-founder, who I'm still working with today, who's a medical student at St George's University London. I've also got a great network to work with um, from other people from Founder Vine and I've also been taught a lot of skills about how to build the business. So um, it really is, um, I'm definitely sure that it would not be the company uh, that it is today if it weren't for Startup 54. Sure. So, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Hannah. <laughs> thank you, Hannah. So you see our impact, and in the UK, we've had 116 young people come through Startup 54. We have, on average, 62% participation by women, and over 30,000 has been raised by our founders through the support that we've been able to offer. And we are a group of young people, eight young people um, who are of African descent, 
and we, we do some amazing work in the UK and we think it's a great opportunity now to pilot Startup 54 which has worked so well in the UK on the African continent. So our next step is being in West Africa starting in Ghana and Nigeria next year. We're doing this because by 2045, one in four young people across the world will be African and a quarter of them will be unemployed. And that's either an opportunity for us or it's a ticking time bomb. So that's where we step in and we think it's great the diaspora giving back to help increase youth entrepreneurship on the continent. So that's our long-term vision. Yes. So the answer you today, so the one of these programs will cost £5,200 to launch in Ghana. So we're asking for 6000 to launch the programme in Ghana at first. And any additional funding will go a very long way in our plans to roll out also in Lagos. And the great thing about Founder Vine is that your money doesn't stop with Founder Vine, nor does it stop with the Startup 54 weekend, all fantastic entrepreneurs like Hannah, but it also goes on to the people like the patients that Hannah will be working with, their family, and you really begin to see the ripple effect across society. So the last thing I want to leave you with, this is a great quote from one of our Startup 54 founders, Joe, who didn't have any idea how to start a business, and he came on and he said it was like, um, three years of lectures, 150 blog posts and like real people with the best advice and that's the kind of impact we have. In 10 years time I want every single hand to go up in this room. I want you to think about a founder like me, a founder like David, a founder like Hannah or a founder like Joe. Thank you. Okay.